Dade commissioners meeting in a special session today to appoint a new commissioner to fill County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava's old seat. Meanwhile, there's new information on our ongoing investigation into shill candidates. Local 10 investigator Glenna Milberg is live with our update. Glenna. Nicole, this decision was so fast today. Uh, Danielle Cohn H uh, Higgins is the new commissioner's name. She was chosen, sworn in, and already at work making decisions on the dais. She was one of a list of seven who had thrown their hat in the ring for this seat. One of them had no chance whatsoever as of last week when his name surfaced in an election scam. Welcome, Commissioner Danielle. Quick, not so surprising, civil law attorney Danielle Cohen Higgins is the choice of her now new colleague commissioners to fill the District 8 seat vacated by Daniela Levine Cava as she became the county's new mayor. There was no other candidate in District 8 that was more prepared to run an election than I was. Cohen Higgins filed a year and a half ago to run in what was anticipated to be a special election until a majority of the commission decided to make the appointment themselves. The economy the way it's going, the people looking for jobs, uh, everything that's going on, the, the District 8 needed representation faster. The appointment versus letting District 8 voters decide, that was the reason one commissioner voted no. It's an absolute principal position. It had nothing to do with your person, your ability. And one abstained from voting at all. The citizens deserve an election. I think they've earned a right to have an election. Cohen Higgins was the presumed frontrunner of seven contenders on the list, one of whom, Frank Artiles, by all accounts had no chance, now embroiled in an election scam scandal. Please leave it. Okay. Artiles, a former state senator, resigned in 2017 after a public racist rant. He's not answered any questions about evidence. He's now recruited a phony candidate to disrupt a Florida Senate race. We've been looking for Alex. Is he around? Uh, no. That shill candidate, Alex Rodriguez, is now under criminal investigation. He's been communicating with Artiles about the progress of his sham candidacy. <laughs> and that criminal investigation is well underway as we speak. Meanwhile, back to the District 8 seat, the new commissioner, she has this temporary seat to fill until the term ends, but temporary is for the next two years. And so District 8 residents will get to vote on their commissioner in 2022. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami tonight, Local 10 News. Okay.